shit. Welcome to Bliss Uncensored therapy session. young. It was elementary. I actually remember the school's name too, Bird. Bird Elementary School. I went to class and <laughs> it's crazy how your memory can remember certain things. You, you don't remember everything, but there's certain things that, will all, that you will always remember. It doesn't matter how old you are. I was sitting at my desk. The teacher calls out my name and asks me to come over. I'm walking over to the desk and she comes out behind her desk with the big garbage bag. Black, just like the one I carried up here. I was small, with a big old bag. She hands it to me. I don't know what's in it. She didn't explain what it is. She just gives it to me. And so here I am with this big garbage bag, literally dragging it, walking it over to my desk. I took it home that day. I came home and when I opened it, it was clothes. It was a garbage bag full of clothes. That's the day that I realized that I was poor. Now, I only use that word so that people can understand the situation. We were not poor. We were a low-income family. We had electricity, we had shelter, we had clothes in our bag, we had food to eat. My dad did a great job supporting us with no government assistance. But I really did not know <laughs> we were a low-income family. And that's because my parents did a great job in making sure that we had a happy childhood. That was giving us the attention, giving us the love, giving us their time. With a Mexican family, we come with big families. Lots of cousins, lots of aunts, uncles, lots of nieces and nephews, all that stuff. So we were huge in family. So when you have that family background, you really don't look at money and what you have. But that was a day that I realized that, damn, we don't really have much. And then I started looking at everything else and realized when Christmas came, we would get donations. Toys. They were all donated. Bikes. They were all donated. Clothes. All donated. We got food from the church pantry. So everything was basically hand-me-downs. Trust me, there's nothing against that. It's good to help people that are in need. It made, me, it made me the person that I am today in a negative way and in a positive way. It changed me positively because I look at others that need help and it makes me want to help them. Interesting enough, it also changed me negatively to the point where I'm so independent, I don't rely on others. Everything that I have gotten to this day, I did on my own, but because of what happened that day. I felt that people were helping because they felt bad. They felt sympathy, they felt sorry for our situation. And I didn't like that feeling. It made me feel like I had less than. And that's something that I did not really appreciate. It made me feel like I wasn't enough or I didn't have enough. And my family, my parents did the best that they can. And let me tell you, I lived a happy childhood. I'm telling you right now, the best years of my life was my childhood. But because of that, I never want anyone's help, even when I need it. Even when I need it, I figure it out on my own. When I'm struggling, I ain't gonna ask nobody for help. I've slept in my car many, t many times, multiple times. I've gone from room to room to room in people's houses or sleeping on the couch. I didn't care. I will pay the rent, I will do what I gotta do, whatever, but I never asked for help. And rare occasions. There's been like maybe, I would say, in my adulthood, I would say maybe three or four times I've asked for help. 
and that's usually from my parents. And don't worry, I got them too, okay? But the trailer park that we lived in was very small. It's different now, they actually have pavement. <laughs> Where before it was nothing but dirt and gravel. <coughs> we lived in the first trailer and we actually had to move out because it was roach infested, mice infested. And I wish I can go back and show you how the trailer looks like, but we can't because they actually uh, demolished it, so it no longer exists. But I did go back there to record my music video years ago. And there's still some sites there, some trailers that were burnt down from a fire, I believe. Um, you know, there was a fire that happened here in the trailer park. It burned everything down. And it was just sad because this whole thing was filled up, but it's burned down now. So hopefully they build some more stuff up. So I've lived here. In this area, I lived in this area where there's not much money growing up like that. Where I had to get gifts, Christmas gifts from teachers and clothes from teachers from school, you know, because my parents couldn't afford it. And then, so if I ever make it with when I get lots and lots of money, I'm always gonna remember this place, so I'm always gonna remain humble. So remember me, I'm Bliss. Check out my music, y'all. Yeah. Did I got that mic so soaking wet? Sitting and ripping in my rhyme so sick. Women are doing this, I don't want them out to shit. I'm out to shit. First on the block to leave this bitch. Now they wanna hate cause I don't take them with. Bless on the rise, I'm too legit. The first on the block. The first on the block. The first on the block. And that's something that, that made me, and like I said, in a good and a positive way. So I'm still forever grateful for those who wanted to help my family. I know my parents appreciated it so much. And I do too. I want to put that out there. I really appreciate it because I would have not had those roller skates. <laughs> you know, skating on some gravel. I would have never had that bike riding around the fucking trailer park. Because of these people that wanted to help, all these teachers that wanted to help, people who went to church wanted to help, I... I had a great childhood for that. So I do want to put that out there. It's just, man, I, I just don't want no sympathy. And am I wrong for that? Am I wrong for feeling that way? I might be, I don't know. But I'm 35 years old now and I don't think that part of my mentality is ever gonna change. So let me know if you have been in a similar situation. I'm sure life has hit you hard. Um, your family, you as an adult, but let me know, comment below and let me know how it impacted you in your life and how did it make you become the person that you are today. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.